Okay, hi guys. In this particular video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the program memory map. So I'm just going to scroll all the way up to the program memory organization. And I'm going to look at figure 2.1, which is the program memory map for the Pixie Clean F877. All right. So there are three main places, three main um, things that you should be acclimatized with for when you're looking at this particular figure. Um, the first thing is the program counter, and we already know about that. We know it's 13 bits wide, and it actually type, and it actually has in that special register the address of the next instruction to be executed. Okay, so 13 bits wide, which is indicated by this bus here, uh, the 12 down to zero. Um, this. Um, uh, so while a program is being executed, we know normally it goes from one line to the next line to the next line. I.e., uh, it goes from one address in program memory to the address right after that in sequential order and then on to the next and the next and next. Um, however, there are some instructions on in the instruction set of the big 16 f eight seven seven which actually affect the value of that of the program counter. Um, the range from go to call, return, ret fee, ret LW, BTFSS, um, BTFSC, um, on on the pick. Okay, I'm going to separate them into two main categories, which are the unconditional branching instructions and the conditional branching instructions. But more on that in the next set of videos. For now, um, we're just going to know what that there are instructions which are going to affect this um, program counter okay so the next thing that you need to um, become acclimatized with on the program map are this are these um is a stack so this is the eight level stack which is a piece of piece of hardware on the chip which um which you can put things on and off and this stack is affected by these four instructions with the which they have lifts with which they have listed here. Um, call, return, red fee, and red LW. Uh, more on that in the next video. So the last part is of the program memory that we should become acclimatized with is down here, which is actually all of the addresses in the map. It's range from zero to all the way to one FFFF. All right, so first you're gonna see at zero here the reset vector. Um, now, the reason it's called a reset vector is because when the pick is reset, which happens in one of two instances in general, unless some, something bad goes, unless something wrong goes, something goes wrong under the hood, um, uh, the reset vector is the address, so 000, zero, zero which the PC takes on when the pick starts up, i.e. when it's reset. So when, when it starts up, when something bad happens, which we won't talk about just yet, or the master class is pulled to logic low. Um, and this is where, where we'll start. So whatever instruction is located at, at address 0000, zero, zero, zero um, is the first instruction to be executed by the pick. Now there's another vector, um, which is at location 4. And it's called a vector, just like the reset vector, because it's a place that you come to when something special happens. Reset vector happens when the pick is reset. Interrupt vector happens when um, an interrupt happens. But we'll speak more to interrupts in a much later point, at a much later point. So down here is where we're actually going to be concerned with a lot of the times. Um, starting with address 5 to 7FF, which is page 0. And then you have page one, two, and three. So just like the data memory map is organized into banks, the program memory is organized into pages. So you see all of those instructions that I was talking about, go to call, well, go to call and some others. Um, those instructions are uh, a certain width wide. That, that's the length of, the width of an instruction. Um, but for go to and call, for example, it will take an operand, which is 11 bits wide. And those 11 bits are loaded into the bottom part of the program counter. The upper part of the program counter comes from the PC last register. Um, just just like um, in the case of the um, banks and the data memory map, where you have instructions which has an operand as being a register, you can't um, put the whole um, 
address, the whole 9-bit address in because there's only 7 bits. Similarly, you can't put the full 13-bit address for go to and call, they have to only put 11 bits. And the output 2 bits comes from um, PC Lash. And those output 2 bits control your 4, page, your four pages, whether it's 0, 1, 2, or 3. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. We'll be concerned at, at the initial point to put all of our program here in page 0. But we'll talk more about what happens when you want to change from one page to another and when your program um, actually moves from one one page into another and how you how you cater for that because things can go wrong if you don't cater for it properly but that's about it really for this video thanks for watching bye